Welcome back to Morning Live. Interesting conversation about to have here in studio with Joyce Kimodon. Of course, it's all about the Kenyan's reading culture. And as I said before we took a break, if you want to hide anything from an African, unfortunately, someone's, I don't know who that person is, hide it in the books, which is very uncouth, by the way. But I'm told Kenyans are actually reading, specifically Kenyans. But I don't know what about you. Do you read Joyce Kimodon? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, trust me, this topic about <laughs> yeah. reading culture. Mm -hmm. I remember way back in high school, mm -hmm. we were um, um, pushed to go and, of course, uh, read the essays. Mm -hmm. I can say all those, um, I can, all the, the poetry, set books, set books and, yes, yes, set books and everything. Because mm -hmm. we used to read because of exams. Mm -hmm. Goodness, yes. you just had to. Mm -hmm. But now after that, some people who are, well, 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 you, you only read for exams with them. Yeah. You can do a novel. Mm -hmm. The people who are actually enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. But... There's some funny culture of not reading. It eroded big time. Yeah. What happened? Uh, well, I guess it's with the growth of uh, social media. Okay. Yeah, and you find that people want to be on Facebook more, they want to be uh, on Instagram more, uh, yeah. but they don't want to read mm -hmm. per se, mm -hmm. which basically I think it's very dangerous because, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, some, someone can say that they want to read a book and they're going to read it on uh, on um, online, yeah? Yeah, yeah? But that really doesn't happen because when you go online, you're distracted by so many things. So Sometimes many things. you have a, 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 someone, a notification on Facebook, yeah, you have, you know, they just come up. Yeah. And so you find that you're not able to read. Yeah. And so what I say, for me, I like reading because how else are you going to solve your problems? Yeah. You know, there's always a solution to every problem that yeah. you're facing yeah. because someone else has probably gone through it. And here we're talking about um, maybe basically inspirational yeah. books. Yeah. And so, well, for me, I make sure that I read a book. I, read, I want to go to the bookshop and uh, buy it wow. and read it. And I highlight as I read it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, because there's yeah. always a lot to learn from, from a book. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. Now, who are these people mm -hmm. who very, they read conspicuous novels, like lots of pages, 2,000 plus pages, yes. very big. Mm -hmm. And trust me, mm -hmm. they'll finish. Yes. They'll tell you, mm -hmm. in four days, mm -hmm. I'll be done with this. Yes. Wow. Yeah, who are I, these people? Uh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting because you, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have the reading culture uh, in you. You need to uh, be interested in reading for you to mm -hmm. actually appreciate what you get from the book mm -hmm. and uh, well there's actually there's one of my students who told me that she reads uh, four books per month Wow. four books per month okay. and I was like wow even if I'm a reader I really don't read like that you know and so <laughs> if you think <laughs> you know you don't read like that yeah. but uh, honestly if you look at someone like that they have a lot of knowledge yeah, yeah. she wants to be a lawyer okay. so she would tell you that she's read um, African literature American wow. literature everything wow. and so you find that someone like that can really um, tackle problems as they come because they have uh, they're able to actually just approach it because they, when you look at people like uh, Chimamanda yeah, Ngozi Adichie yeah, with her Americana, yeah. you want to uh, appreciate mm -hmm. the theme of yeah. African mm -hmm. uh, uh, literature. Yeah. You want to appreciate the theme of racial discrimination. Absolutely. So she has read so many of that. Mm -hmm. And so if you think of people who do not read, you wonder, okay, wh how do you... What, how do you tackle your, your problems? Yeah. How do you unwind? Yeah. So yeah. I think in Kenya, we really need to yeah. ensure that we bring back the reading culture. Because for our children, Absolutely. they only get examples from social media yeah. and from the wrong places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Mm. Now, um, someone said, yeah. um, people actually, mm -hmm. uh, that your language command will really come from the books you read. Yes. Like the way you express yourself, uh -huh. your English, depending on the language you're actually reading, yes. mm -hmm. it'll really come out from the, even the books you read. Mm -hmm. Now, um, some you've faced so many people, you've mm -hmm. met so many people who kind mm -hmm. of kind of butcher the language yes. big time. Yes. And they're doing this confidently, yes. loudly, yeah. with a lot of command. Goodness. Yeah. So I wonder, wow, mm. what mm. happens here? Yeah. Yes, we have this knowledge, the mm. English knowledge, where mm. we know, of course, what you're doing, yes. what you're saying, communicating. Yeah. Yeah. But the reading culture and the language command. Mm. Sure. Yeah, so basically when you read, you'll be able to understand the setting of a okay. story. You'll okay. be able to uh, understand the theme of a story. You'll be able to understand the style of language that yeah. has been used by a particular author. Mm. So very important that um, as you read, that's why I told you when I'm reading, I'm highlighting. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. because as you read, you'll be able to um, appreciate an author's uh, use of language. Uh -huh. Because someone can use maybe a simile to refer to, um, say, um, to refer to um, uh, maybe someone was um, 
tall or someone yeah. was intelligent yeah. and they will use a simile to, to yeah. refer to that. Yeah. And so if you do not read, if you do not highlight, then how else are you going to yes. do this? Yes. And that's how you find that basically for most students uh -huh. in Kenya, uh -huh. They find it difficult to interpret literature, uh -huh. whether it's uh, Swahili or uh -huh. English language, uh -huh. because they do not really have that reading culture. Okay. Most of them are, re are watching fictional, science fiction okay. movies, yeah? Yes, yes. So they don't get the, uh, the right model. Okay. And so basically, if it's either an autobiography, a uh -huh. biography, uh -huh. inspirational books that you're reading, you need to uh, be active and sure. ask yourself, why am I reading in the first place? Because sure. when a writer is writing, they write for a reason. Uh -huh. And that's where we talk about the tone and the mood. Yes. Yeah. But uh, when you're reading again, you're reading for a reason. Mm -hmm. So what I do, mm -hmm. and, and basically maybe I also would want to suggest this to most of our students, is okay. that um, uh, I read actively mm -hmm. and I make sure that maybe at that situation, what I'm going through at that particular situation, mm -hmm. I read a book that would work for that particular situation. Uh -huh. You know, uh, if, if I would tell you currently I'm reading two books okay. at the same time wow, wow. <laughs> yeah i'm actually reading um pastor kathy's uh, um uh, transformational uh, yeah. transformed woman okay. and i'm also reading sherazina shama's mm -hmm. uh, straightened toes <laughs> and both of them you really cannot i, I can't get over them i just have to I, i'm reading this how, one how and i'm reading this one <laughs> how do you balance because now these are two different content yes it's very different mm. from Kathy's perspectives, very yes. different. It's a totally different international novel. Yes. Like, how do you balance this? And of course, just um, amalgamating all the ideas yes. at once and of course now getting even addicted yes. at the same time. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, well, I think for me, I decide that I want to read inspirational books on my own because most of the times I'm working with students and okay. you'll find that you're doing a lot of uh, fictional uh, uh, writing or, yeah. uh, and, and so the stories that they're reading really are not real uh -huh. but they're meant for their academics yes. right yes, yes. Um, uh, but then how am I going to work on my uh, my soul yeah. my inner self yeah. you know yeah. so I basically want to read books that are going to inspire me to move on mm -hmm. Uh, if I'm going through a challenge, if I'm definitely maybe excited, I want to read something that is going to yeah. juggle my mind. Yeah, so, um, uh, well, that, that's how you get to differentiate because sometimes there are people who like reading thrillers, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I feel that everyone needs to have a model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who, uh, like who do you look up to? Yes, yeah, yes. you want to read their autobiographies, mm -hmm. Barack Obama's, mm -hmm. you know, Michelle Obama, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Maya Angelou, yeah. yeah. So, um, well, it's very important for us to cultivate redi uh -huh. the reading culture in Kenya. Now, uh, ambiguity. Yes. Sometimes, you know, we have to flex <laughs> our muscles on yeah. how the levels you've tapped in terms of, you've reached maybe in terms of uh, uh, the language. Yes. But you see, uh, in Kenya, mm. we adore the Queen's language. Yes. And it's very seamless. Yeah. But sometimes you open a book, the first two pages, goodness. The ambiguous words that yes. hits you say, oh my God, I'm not here to punish myself. <laughs> True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for, 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 the, for the authors out there, mm. you know, sometimes mm. you have to know, you have to show, you have to flex your muscles, yes. how knowledgeable you are, yes. and everything you do. Mm -hmm. But look at the recipients, mm. the people you want to communicate to. Exactly. Sometimes they don't really get what you're writing. Yes, yes. Hey, what's, what's your idea? Because the importance of a book why are you writing in the first yeah, place? It's for yeah. you to communicate. to communicate. So why should you think of, if you use very, um, uh, very um, tough vocabulary, yeah. that you're going to appeal to the reader? You definitely want to communicate. Yeah. So yeah. if you do that, you will, and maybe that's the reason why most people don't read. Because the moment you go to the first page, you're like, oh, I am hit by a certain word and I don't know how to figure this uh, out. Actually, yeah? sometimes people start from behind. Yes, yes. <laughs> the blub. <laughs> yeah, <it's> yes. <laughs> yeah. Then from there, Yes. now, okay, interest, Page one, page two. Yeah. Then is this um is it acknowledgement or something? Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the, it's kind of written in italics. Yes. Yeah. Italics. The yes. prefix. Oh, yes. I wonder. Okay. Mm. Prefix everything now. Mm. Page one. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Some creative. Uh, yes. Big that can actually A lot of throw description there. Yeah. Yes. Well, I say that um, maybe let's say for uh, academic writing, yeah. if you're writing maybe for literature, mm -hmm. um, if you look at um, uh, stories like uh, Americana by Chimamanda, yeah. you'd find that she would describe the setting in such a way that you're trying to figure out wow yeah. what is it that she means yeah, yeah, yeah. but th she's doing that because this students who are reading need to know how to interpret literature in terms of uh -huh. the setting in terms of the theme uh -huh. they also need to um, uh, improve on their vocabulary okay. so she would write for that reason mm -hmm. but I feel that if you're writing to communicate especially yeah. for inspirational writing mm -hmm. and for uh, autobiographies and yeah. all that yeah. you need to use 
easy language because yes. you want to communicate to yes, the reader. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. and, and um, I also find it easy when I'm reading a book and I don't really need to keep on going back to the dictionary yeah, to find out yeah, what exactly yeah. does this word mean. It's true. You know? Yeah. yeah so. just, just a message to, young, to the young people. Yes. Um, we used, okay, in school, of course, you are reading for the sake of exams. Yes. Because you wanted to pass exams. Mm -hmm. But now after everything, you've graduated, yes. you're uh, done in school. Yes. This culture kind of, we, we, it, 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 it used Dive. to be like a punishment. Yes. And it was so many. You know yes. what I mean? Like, yeah. Go read that. Yes. It was like, oh my goodness. Yes. I had to go play with my friends, mm. but I'm being forced to read. Mm. Now, look at how our parents also cultured us. Eh? Yes. They used to force us. Mm. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Our generation and mm. anyone out there, mm. if, if you maybe school in a public school, yes. that was hectic. Yeah. Like you, you had to come up with a timetable at yes. home mm -hmm. and you mm. had your, your own priorities mm. as a young man. Mm. But look at this. Do you think the culture from our parents forcing us to mm. go read yeah. or Could election? Have... Yes. Yes. <laughs> look at this trickling down to now. This, uh -huh, it's, uh -huh. it's, yeah, maybe yeah. That, that could have uh, messed up the whole uh, reading culture because mm -hmm. I remember even for my dad, he was very strict. He would tell us, yes. you've got to go to that room, the study room, you yeah. must read. Yeah. And, the, uh, you know, in the evening, he would come back and ask you, so what how much did you read? Uh -huh. And he asks you a question. I remember him asking, yes. what is peristalsis? You told me that you read up to page 39. What is oh. peristalsis? I'm like, oh God, I did not read. So maybe I would look at maybe my brothers and some, uh, some of them right now would not want to. Yeah. read a book yeah. because maybe they feel that like they read a lot but the moment you understand the reason why you're reading yeah yeah you get to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Whenever I find myself, say, in a restaurant, yeah. I want to read a book. Mm -hmm. I have several books. I want yeah. to read a book sure. mm -hmm. there. And so um, I was thinking of, and I don't know whether this, this would be, this is debatable, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. uh, um, these are current murders and assassinations and wow. just suicides that are happening in Kenya big right time. now. Big time. Yeah. Big time, yeah. And is it that people are not really reading or they don't know how to tackle their problems? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you go to the Bible and you want okay. to find out a verse that would uh -huh. work for you. Yeah. But what about real life stories, mm -hmm. you know, of real people who went yeah. through the same as yeah. you did. Yeah. Why not try to look at how they tackled that? Mm -hmm. So very important for people to appreciate the importance of reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a book for every situation that yeah. you're going through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you actually, and, and I'm, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to talk about this, but yeah. I'm reading Sherazina Shama's uh, oh, right. Straightened Toes, and she okay. would talk about cancer mm -hmm. and, and how I think the daughter was sick with cancer and Our all that. Our current societal issues. Yes, actually. current yeah. societal issues. Yeah, yeah. So someone else is going through that and they read that, they will know, oh, this is how I navigate through yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, and I don't yeah. let it make me maybe commit suicide mm -hmm. or just mm -hmm. do the crazy things that people mm -hmm. do. Yeah. So it's it's important for us to, to cultivate that culture because mm -hmm maybe we'd be able to solve some of our societal yeah, it's uh, problems. True. It's true. Yes. Now, something else. Yes. Um, interesting book right here. Of course, we'll talk about it later. Yes. But now, um, look at this. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. any book titled Best on a True Story. Yes. And then there's a movie also titled Best on a True Story. Yes. Where will you go? Um, well, uh, I, I realize that it's important for us, and everyone, everyone has a story. Yeah. It's important for us to tell our stories. Yeah. Because we are not guaranteed of life. Say it's now 6.30. Yeah. It's, we are not guaranteed of life at 6.31 or 6.32. Yeah. So what are you going to do with the story that God has given you? Yeah. Or what you've gone through? Mm -hmm. Why should you hide it from people mm -hmm. who would probably need it? Yeah, so basically uh, that is an inspirational book that mm -hmm. people are supposed to read and just get to know, oh, this is what this uh, person went through mm -hmm. and maybe I can tackle mine like this. Yeah. And you just tell it in black and white. Mm -hmm. Very important. People prefer um, watching movies, yes. going for audio books. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trust me, mm -hmm. uh, someone will tune in from mm -hmm. page one to mm -hmm. 20 without even knowing they've exhausted all those pages. Never. They audio will, books. I, I, I'm yeah. thinking of audio books. It's important, mm -hmm. yes. But um, if you... You, definitely people do this when they're sleeping. Yeah. So by the time <laughs> you, <laughs> you want to think that you've read the first chapter, yeah, yeah. you've already slept. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So really that doesn't mm -hmm. happen. And yeah. the following day you don't know where you stopped. So it's really, crazy. and how also are you also going to get to know uh, and appreciate the style yeah. of, of, of writing, mm -hmm. the language mm -hmm. uh, techniques that have been mm -hmm. used by a writer, mm -hmm. and so that you can now employ those ones uh, for yourself. Even simple things, the spellings. Exactly. Very simple True. things, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's why we become lazy.
crazy mm -hmm. and you just want to uh, listen to it yeah. or you want to watch it mm -hmm. but there's something that you cannot get mm -hmm. if you do not actually have the physical book yeah. that, okay. that's what i feel now m the magnanimous of these conspicuous pages that you always meet for yeah. example maybe i don't know i mean the current novel you're reading how many pages uh i think it's uh 500, 500 and the other yeah. one is um i think kathy's is around 200 and something mm -hmm. yes okay yeah. now mm -hmm. <laughs> this is interesting yeah. because sometimes it discourages mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> good story yeah but now mm. um the thickness mm. of this book mm. is actually just discouraging. It takes you back to yeah. why are you reading in the mm -hmm. first place? Purpose. Yes. Yeah. Why are you reading in the mm -hmm. first place? Mm -hmm. Do you just want to read so that you can tell people, oh, I have read this many books in yeah. a month. Yeah. Oh, I have read this many books in a year. Sure. No. Are, are you reading it for a purpose? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're reading it for a purpose, you will not really be discouraged by the number of pages. Okay. You will actually want to read and read and read. Mm -hmm. And by the time you're coming to the end, mm -hmm. you don't want it to end. Interesting. Yes. Now, th th there's something else about um, poetry. Yes. Let's not talk about yes. content. Uh -huh. Poetry, mm -hmm. um, two stories. Yes. Um, you, you, you mentioned um, Achi, 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 poetry yes for example i like um romantic stories yes now um is there a way that people need to cultivate the culture of mm -hmm. preference because i can't just read any other book uh well like i'm telling you think of why you're reading in the first yeah, place yeah. for people who are doing their igcc or eight for four yeah. exams and mm -hmm. all they need to read because yeah. they need to pass their exams yeah, so some of them are actually not doing literature because they want to they're reading it's because exams. of the exams yeah. but think about poetry very beautiful yeah you appreciate how a poet can use language yeah. so creatively mm -hmm. they are referring to um corruption yeah. and they use a tree it's true that you know uh, if you think about Maya Angelou's uh, caged bird mm -hmm. caged bird and free bird you interpret it in different ways yeah. you know as long as it suits your situation mm -hmm. and so um, with the caged bird in Maya Angelou's it would refer to maybe someone who is caged mm -hmm. think about a, maybe <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. a woman who's married and yeah. they can't really move out think about um, uh, uh, maybe some people who were oppressed, yeah. uh, say in um, the, the black Americans, they were oppressed, yeah? Uh, but then think about the free ones, the ones who were able to just be, you know? Yeah. And so you can, you can interpret it to suit your particular situation. Yeah. That's for the caged bird. Yeah. She's also written Phenomenal Woman, uh -huh. you know? Another very um, inspiring poem, yeah. you know? And if I, if I think of poetry, I always think about Maya Angelou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so poetry, very important and uh, uh, again, very inspirational. Yeah, yeah. appreciate the work that someone has done, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so that you can also get mm -hmm. to learn from that. It's true. Yes. Now, someone said also that biographies don't, so, don't, don't actually sell big time because yes. now um, I can't just wake up one morning and start reading about someone. Yeah. Of course, we have these influential <laughs> personalities yes. who've done books mm. and they're selling so much out mm, here. Mm. But in Africa, we are our own enemies. Yes. You can't write a book as Joyce. Yes. Uh, my biography, uh -huh. so, so what? Yes. So, what so uh, what's the inspiration? Because yes. now, uh, as much as I write, you, you invest the time, mm. money, yes. publication, yes. everything, yeah. launching the book, mm. it was an event, exactly. signing all these things. Mm. Man, you're mm. writing about yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah, think about it again like this. We are talking about the writer having a purpose for, for reading. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, sorry, not the writer, but the reader. The reader. But think about the writer now. Why are you writing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I think when I was putting this one down, yeah. I was putting it down to inspire uh -huh. and to heal, <coughs> right? So that's my goal. That's mm -hmm. my purpose. Well, I'm not really writing it to sell, yeah. but if it does, then well and good. Sure. But think about it. If you're writing it to, uh, for your own reason, mm -hmm. where you want to inspire, where maybe you want to heal, you yeah. want to communicate something, yeah. then you will not be discouraged by whoever says what. It's true and it's true that we don't appreciate our own writers. We don't appreciate African writers or... Mm -hmm. um, like Chimamanda is really celebrated yeah. <laughs> all over the world, but maybe Big you find time. that Africans, some of them wouldn't really not know yeah. about her. Now, even for Kenyans, you find that there are uh, different authors in Kenya mm -hmm. who are also not celebrated. Mm -hmm. But uh, the reason why you are writing is what should inspire you to continue doing yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if whether you sell it or you do not, mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you've achieved your purpose, which is that of inspiring, that yeah. of expressing yourself, yeah. it is very fulfilling. Yeah. All right. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Okay, we'll take a short break. Now, yes. when we come back, we'll yes. be focusing on 
this book. Trust me, um, I'm Not Dead. It's a very, very interesting book, very mm. inspirational, mm. written by one and only Joyce Kimoto. Mm. And I trust me, um, behind she's written its book meant to motivate and encourage vulnerable youth. As you know what's happening in this country, the youth are actually in big problems from suicidal rates, from actually depression, mental illness, just surrounding the youth. So after the break, it's all about I'm not dead. Stay tuned to Morning Life. Welcome back to Morning Life. Yes, I'm not dead. A book written by Joyce Kimoto, and uh, from this, it's actually a true personal experience whereby she's undergone so much at a tender age and the father actually the late father inspired her to write this book and as a scribe trust me a reading culture we've talked about it and this is one of the challenges actually i'll be having soon but i have to read this book very soon i'm not dead and let's talk about it mm -hmm. now what was the foundation and inspiration mm. to just come and sit down because it's a process yes thinking sitting down writing mm -hmm. on paper okay. Maybe typing on that for that yes, matter. Yeah. Publication, goodness, it's a process. Yes. It's time you approach a publisher. Yes. It's another ball game, yes. different. But sir, True. first mm. of all, I'm mm. not dead. Yes. Sure. I am not dead. The title. Um, there are times you go through uh, situations in life, yeah. and you tap yourself on the back, and you're like, I am not dead. Yeah. And that's that's where the title came from. I think it's inspired by the death of my father. Okay. Um, he yeah. passed on when I was in form three. I Sorry was 17, okay. yes, and I think that really triggered the story okay. because what happened after that, you know, were tribulations yeah. and stuff that yeah. you go through and yeah. you ask yourself, God, are you still there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, I basically that, that inspired the yeah. story. Yeah. Yes. Looking um, at the explanation, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's clear that you had a cracking point. Mm -hmm. whereby of course giving up is always sometimes the norm yeah now how are you able to now um, just dust yourself mm -hmm. up and just say it yes I'm not dead yes have the confidence yeah. just to push through all mm. the tribulations mm. and here you are yeah, yeah. Uh, well I looked back and realized that there is my mom and I have uh, four siblings uh -huh. and I have to take care of them okay yeah uh -huh. I didn't want to let them down okay and I wanted to take the place of my father mm -hmm. where they can be secure, ah. they can be safe, the, you know. Mm -hmm. So that is what actually made me not give up. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is what made me not think of <laughs> committing suicide yeah, like yeah, everyone else yeah, is doing. Sure. And so I realized I have to make it. You know, when you find yourself yeah. in a situation where mm -hmm. I either make it or I make it. Yeah, yeah. and, and I'm not doing it for not me, true. I'm doing it for them. Yeah. 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 So in that way, God also gives you that courage uh -huh. to navigate through life. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Just behind the book, um, mm -hmm. um, it's meant to uh, motivate and encourage the vulnerable youth. Yes. Now, the book highlights mm -hmm. the plight of the young, yes. marginalized, mm -hmm. and vulnerable looking yes. um, to give them hope and yes. give them a voice. Mm. It's a book uh, for the mistreated and the tormentors yes. aiming at making the latter think twice, of course, yes. the youth mm -hmm. think twice mm -hmm. of the actions and yes. bringing them to yes. the realization that the day of reckoning shall, shall surely, surely come. End. Exactly. Wow. That's very yes. powerful. I know. <laughs> because now, <laughs> yeah. Um, Sometimes when in problems, mm. in adversity, mm. sometimes you don't think of end days. That at the end of the tunnel, mm. is that light? Eh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, rejection is, some th uh, uh, is something that people go through, mm -hmm. especially for young people. When you've lost your parents, you find that even your relatives reject you. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be around you because yeah, yeah. you're needy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. And so um, that really was something that I, I really had to deal with because if you think of your relatives and you're thinking, okay, maybe they're the people who are supposed to come and help me out. Mm -hmm. But then again, they are the people who are doing exactly opposite. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. That can really shake oh, you yeah. and break it's you. True, and true. so I went through that rejection. I went through situations where I didn't have cash, you know. Wow, yeah. uh, when I was in high school, you don't have pocket money. Yeah. I went through situations where 
I was also punished very harshly by a relative for no good reason, no apparent reason. Mm. I went through situations where my mom would be rejected even maybe by the society and also maybe um, even with a, you know, a church, you understand? Yeah, that, that really happens. And so for someone who's gone through that, and I've talked to several people and they tell me, I've gone through the same thing, yeah. but they can't put it down. Maybe mm -hmm. because they're fearing what the society will say yeah. or what people will say. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the, the, I told you that think about why is it that I'm putting this down? Yeah. You want to inspire someone else. Mm -hmm. So most people, when they go through that rejection, I mean, they go through intimidation yeah. and, and uh, say even rape, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about it. Yeah. They want to cover it up. Mm -hmm. And in that way, you will never heal. It's true that. Yeah. yeah, you just talk about it because believe once. Uh, well, unless uh, Dmitry Iskov's uh, immortality initiative yeah. happens and yeah. by 2045, yeah. we shall not be yeah. dying. Yeah. But the thing is, you're not guaranteed of life the mm -hmm. next minute from now. Yeah. So yeah. just tell your st story like it is and also, I thought of encouraging the young people mm -hmm. because they go through various challenges. I, okay. I, I work with students and mm -hmm. you find that some of them are going through a lot yeah. and they can only talk to you. Some yeah. of them can't even talk to their parents about what they're going through. Sure. And that's why you find that there are some students who go and commit suicide yeah. and their parents just wonder what exactly happened? happened. What did I do? Yeah? But they've been harboring a lot of bitterness inside. Yeah. And here we're talking about both the rich and the poor. Yeah. Yes. So exactly, I mean, that's that's the reason why I decided okay. to put it down. Okay. Yes. L looking at the current situation as far yes. as now the young people mm -hmm. are, are concerned, mm. um, I mentioned mental illness, suicidal yes. rates, yes. and so many other things mm -hmm. just affecting the young people. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, I like talking about societal pressure, but yes. right now I want to kind of uh, just be the successful person quickly as, yes. as possible. Mm -hmm. I want to gamble, mm -hmm. I want to bet, mm -hmm. I want the millions mm -hmm. the next day. Mm -hmm. Wow, just a lot of stuff, yes. a lot of stuff in, in mm -hmm. maybe a young mind. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the culture of working hard, mm, mm. the culture of working smart. <laughs> it's Oof. not there anymore. It's not there anymore. Yes, you see that. That's yeah. why they're calling it a Facebook depression. Yeah. Because you want to look at someone's life and you just want to be like them. Instagram. But you don't want to go through the process. Instagram. You want the product, but you don't mm. want to go through yeah. the process. Mm. Uh, maybe if some of my classmates or whoever would maybe look at you now, they're like, oh, you've written a book, you're yeah. successful and yeah. all that, but yeah. they don't really know what you've been through. Yeah, yeah but true. they just want to get there. Yeah. So important for people to just look at the process and not the uh -huh. product. And uh -huh. how can you get that? Uh -huh. Read, uh -huh. get to know that person's story, yeah. you know, and yeah. get inspired because uh -huh. you can't get it that fast. Yeah. You have to go through the process. Okay. Yes. Now, they always say, if you struggle to write, mm -hmm. don't write. Okay. You f like, w how was your flow? Because it's a personal experience. Like, once you're writing or typing, mm. for that matter, mm. it was just flowing. For a personal yeah. experience, it's very easy. Okay. You just put your thoughts down. Yeah. Then later on, you're going to work with an editor. But yeah. you just put it down. There yes. are days I could not sleep. Actually, if you read there, you will find that I'm writing a paragraph and then there's a line. Yeah. I cannot sleep. Okay. Then I carry on. Okay. I cannot sleep. Okay. Because the days I could not sleep, yeah. I had to tell my story wow. like it was wow. at that time. And okay. I actually felt it's time mm -hmm. and I've incorporated uh, poetry there yeah. because you find that there's some yeah, sure. answers in poetry mm -hmm. many answers in, in poetry mm -hmm. um, one art by Elizabeth Bishop yeah. is, is one of the poems mm -hmm. and I'm thinking of um, you see she talks about one art g being the art of losing yeah. yeah so you need to get used to losing because you will yeah. lose many things in life yeah, you will you know she starts with losing her mother's keys mm -hmm. and a watch and then she loses a continent then you know yeah. and then you lose a loved one yeah yeah. And when you lose a loved one, that is when it becomes more like a disaster, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But still, it's not a disaster because yeah. in a month's time, mm -hmm. you carry on with your life. It's true that. You know? It's true that. So uh, mm -hmm. if, if you read that, you appreciate the fact that we, sh we are all going to, uh, to die. Mm -hmm. We are all here yeah. for a season. Yeah. yeah unless Dimitri Iskov's <laughs> immortality initiative happens. Impossible. But we are all here for a season. Okay. So wha what should you do when you're in this life? Mm -hmm. When you're living this life? Yeah. 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 Just it's live for that. a purpose. It's true that. Yeah. Chapter 10, a story of resilience. Yes. Maybe a summary. You know, you went through loss. Yes. It's a very tender age. Yes. Actually from two, three. Mm -hmm. That was not uh, easy for you. Yes. Because now you're still this kid who wanted their parental yes. love. Yes. The father to yeah. be your side. Yes. And for daughters, actually, yes. it's even difficult. Yes, it's very difficult. Because you're close difficult. to your dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was tough because um, I think I was... 
hell is tell myself, yeah. but and I know mm -hmm. I was my dad's favorite. Yeah. So when he passed on when I was in form three, I just didn't want to believe it. I remember when yeah. they told us that when I was in the in the staff yeah. room, they told yeah. us something has happened, mm -hmm. and I just felt it in my gut, yeah, and I just yeah, yeah. broke down yeah. and I shouted yeah. loudly and yeah. all that. Yeah. Um, well, what happened after that yeah. is what triggered the writing of the book. Mm -hmm. Now the story of resilience is a chapter there because I want to appreciate my mom because of being resilient in, yeah, in, in, in all that she went through yeah. you know yeah. raising five kids sure and everybody else doesn't want to uh -huh. you know when he's there when my dad was there <laughs> remember yeah. that our home was full yeah you get yeah, yeah the people relatives and everyone friends and you that. know because there's, there's something that they can take from yeah. this house yeah. but uh when he goes you realize that uh, 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 you know yeah. it's like you don't even you don't even hear a knock on the uh -huh. door sometimes you're thinking oh where are they and sometimes you would have, <laughs> you would want to call them yeah, and maybe they yeah, hung up. Yeah. You understand? Because you're wow. needy and that's what people go through. Yeah, yeah. That is what people go through. It's, it's um, I don't know whether I want to say it's fortunate or unfortunate that it's yeah. my story, mm -hmm. but I want to take, um, that fueled me. Mm -hmm. I want to take that as a drive okay. to be able to just carry on with my okay. life, to okay. be able to inspire, uh -huh. to be able to just live for a purpose. Yeah, okay. Yes. Now, being a societal mirror, yes. the book clearly just sums it up. The mm -hmm. young man who's going through so much yes. should get a copy of this book. Exactly. Just read. True. Because now, um, so many things are happening. Yes. People are going through so many problems. Yes. But the story of resilience just to now uh, maneuver through this difficult um, yes. lifestyle, yeah. people are leaving mm. and also just cutting the coat according to your size. True. How can they get this book? Uh, they can get that book from uh, textbook center. Okay. Uh, all branches they have the uh, they have copies there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and they can also get them from uh, mm -hmm. from myself if okay. they're able to. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, before even the availability and everything, how yes. they can access this book? Yes. A journey to publish because mm -hmm. now so many potential uh, writers yes. or authors. <laughs> yes. That's where they get stuck. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Editorial um, maneuvering. Yes. Editorial struggles. Yes. By the time you meet a publisher. Yeah. Who can help you yeah. come up with this yeah how can they do that because these people now are the same people who <laughs> mm. encourage the reading culture mm. like they, they have content but there's nothing yeah, yeah. When, when i joined daystar because i'm doing my master's in communication okay. at daystar sure. Sure. uh there was a unit they were teaching uh, teaching us about publishing and intellectual yeah. property mm -hmm. and i realized you just go to kippy mm -hmm. uh you go to the <coughs> kenya library okay. you get your isbn mm -hmm. and you can self-publish okay yeah okay. so when i uh, I decided I wanted to work with some publishers, but then later on I decided uh, it's going to take a long time. You take your manuscript to this one, they tell you, yeah. oh, let's wait until this time, yeah. let's wait until this time. Mm -hmm. But you want to have this story yeah. out, yeah. you get. Mm -hmm. And so since I was, I had that, I wanted to uh, fulfill yeah. a certain goal, mm -hmm. I had to do this. Yeah. yeah, and so I decided to just go through self-publishing, uh, wow. going through Kipi, wow. and then going through um, uh, Kenya Library, yeah. getting your ISBN yeah. and all the yeah. copyright uh, credentials, yeah. sure. and then you just have it done. Yeah, and then I work with independent editors. Interesting. Yeah, because and now designers. It's, it's out. Yes. Very nice conspicuous yes. cover. Thank Very you. Very actually, um, you know, sometimes uh, the, the theme yes. speaks it out. Yes. Because look at uh, the image itself. Exactly. Uh, there's new breath of life yes. already. There's True. a sunset, yes. sunrise, I mean. Yes. Actually, breath of new life. Uh huh. Because it's just amazing. Thank and you. And by, by you doing it yourself, mm. I believe I should say maybe congratulations. Thank you. And it's a very <laughs> uh, strong mileage. I and also, mm. people forget about this. Mm -hmm. This is in your CV. Yes. Complete. Thank like you. Like it builds yes. you. Is yeah, it? it does. All right. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Mm. There's a really second one coming. So. <laughs> oh, the second one? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Mm. I also get, we'll call you here That's to tell us more about it. Awesome. But but um, f for the young people, just before you wind up, mm -hmm. um, w what's your final advice for the young people? Final advice. I, I, I listen to uh, and I follow and I read mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Nichols and she talks about her life and the challenges she's gone through mm -hmm. and she would say where, with wherever she's reached yeah. she has nothing to hide okay. nothing to protect mm -hmm. nothing to defend mm -hmm. and nothing to prove yeah. and that's the mantra that I live for uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah I have nothing to hide uh -huh. protect defend yeah. or prove okay. and so you choose to be whoever you want to be mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. as long as you're you're doing the right thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. God is always going to be uh, there for you. Yes, so I would want to just encourage yes, them and tell them to uh, keep on believing and okay. trusting and uh, doing the right thing.
perfect. Yes. Are you going to see this maybe in the audio books, in films, very soon, uh, everything? Yeah, soon. Yeah, story? soon. Okay. Probably, yes. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Asante. For coming, and uh, I wish you all the best. Asante. And uh, of course, I know Master is not funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be returned yeah. so many times. Yeah, true, I wish you all true, the true. best again. I will, okay. I will. Thank you. All right. Mm.